So let's talk about this engine valve timing. There's few videos how to do this, but all of them haven't covered few things that is critical and you can fail if you're not looking for these small things. So you can set timing in two ways. One is official Mercedes. That is stupid because you need to set timing in 20 degrees crankshaft and insert the locking pins. All other engines setting timing on TDC just because it's simple but Mercedes decided to make it harder and also confusing because Vena system there is nothing wrong with, with Vena system but uh, main confusing thing is that Vena system in this engine does not lock it's always open you can turn camshaft or always it's not locking in Venus also you have to understand that locking pin locks camshaft not Venus system so let me show you how to correctly set timing without any failing possibility so you turn crankshaft clockwise until it's on TDC uh, I just highlighted the C mark so it's easier to see it's on TDC and here is one critical thing that applies in any engine when setting timing so if you reaching TDC turning crankshaft clockwise and just by accident you got over so you you can turn engine anti-clockwise and stop here but then your timing uh, will be wrong because timing chain tensioner so you have to turn much more in anti-clockwise when you see cam camshaft turning back you can turn clockwise again and stop on TDC you can't go over very slowly go to your TDC second thing where you can fail easily camshaft posi position in Venus I'm sure I pronounce Venus wrong and everyone is laughing but anyway everyone understands what I want to say so at first you need to understand one thing this part is Venus thing Venus part this part is your camshaft so we want Venus to be advanced all the way to the side now it's wrong and if you try to set timing your timing will be wrong this one is critical and you need now to retard your camshaft into maximum position so let's take wrench retarding maximum position and now we can check timing also before checking check again if your TDC is in same place as you left and now we can check timing in a more simple way so now we get something like that we put it flat on the surface aim at uh, teeth and count 13 teeth so it's a one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 13 must align with this locking pin not that one but this and exhaust camshaft is correct timing let's check intake same thing flat on surface and now count 6 teeth 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 six six teeth must align with this hole and if uh, camshaft timing is wrong i mean if it's all the way advanced for example then you see this hole in different place it's gonna align not with sixth teeth but fifth and you think that timing is wrong so make sure camshaft timing is all the way retarded.
Advance my camshaft all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. And sixth teeth is not aligning with that hole. Fifth is aligning. So all right, my timing is correct. Also, we can check and set timing by Mercedes uh, manual, like they decided to make this. You need to turn crankshaft clockwise. Also, same critical thing. You need to set it on 20 degrees by turning just clockwise. So let's get to it. It's on 20. It's not critical if few degrees is off because most likely you need to turn it more later. So at first we want to check intake timing. We try to insert a timing pin but it's not inserting because it's not aligned. In the same time we're trying to insert it, we turn crankshaft clockwise until it's in. So it's in, as we can see also camshaft is all the way retarded because this thing is forward. So now we can see uh, what crankshaft angle is. Crankshaft angle is 25 degrees, so that's completely all right. It can alternate from 20 to 30 if your timing chain and followers is new. So you, you would see something like 20. And if it's old in good condition, you will see something like 25. But before you were looking at these degrees, you have to make sure it's all the way retarded, like here. If it's not, you will see wrong degrees. It's showing 10 degrees and it's not good timing. So what you can do is insert timing pin in this position. When your timing pin is installed, you can turn crankshaft clockwise more slowly and not with a, a lot of energy and as you can see it's going to full retarded stop so when we reached this position you can check your timing again and it's 25 degrees we can remove now timing pin and also i'm using one pin because there is different degrees in timing uh, when you install this so use just one pin because most likely you can't install both in the same time and also this is more precise checking it's not inserting let's turn crankshaft clockwise little by little until timing tool is gonna insert timing pin is in on exhaust camshaft and crankshaft angle is almost 30 degrees so that's it timing is set and uh, as you can see it's over complicated mercedes made this harder than it should be without any reason also one more thing with timing chain tensioner you can fail very hard with it as you're removing it you can just turn this big nut and remove all assembly but when you installing it back you have to unscrew first this part smaller bolt actually fully disassemble it remove a piston tensioning piston all the way out with spring and all things and then take a just tensioner sh shell without anything in it and then separately Install your piston with spring, push it in and install this bolt just after everything is done with timing. Because if you remove all tensioner thing without disassembling it, you remove it and installing back it's uh, gonna extend and lock extended. You tighten it all the way, timing chain will be over tightened and there is maybe five minutes and destruction in your engine <laughs> so that's very critical also when you fitting chains if you completely disassembling uh, all timing set i would recommend just to lock both camshaft with two pins 
and uh, set crankshaft to 20 degrees and then just lay timing chain around I mean uh, put the sprockets and place vanus and exhaust and also check uh, vanus uh, and camshaft position so it's uh, retarded and then check timing like I showed before if you did that precise then you get everything spot on.